Welcome back to San Antonio Living. If you're looking for a refreshing idea for lunch, the cooking mom, Amy Hatton, shares her recipe for a cucumber mint salad. Take a look. Hi everybody, it's Amy, the cooking mom, and I want to share a nice, light, fresh salad recipe that will be a hit. It's something a little bit different. It's a refreshing cucumber mint salad, and it's super, super easy. I love it because it can sit out at a potluck or barbecue. It's nice and healthy. There's no mayonnaise, and even the kids will like this. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of white wine or rice wine vinegar, and that's going to give the cucumbers and the rest of the veggies some nice flavor. A little bit of olive oil, and just a touch of salt and pepper. And the white wine or the rice wine vinegar is just a little bit lighter than the white, regular white distilled vinegar. Then I'm gonna take some thinly sliced cucumbers. I love using the English cucumbers because you don't have to peel them. If your cucumbers are a little bit seedy, you may wanna peel them a little bit and get rid of some of the seeds, but that's up to you. Then for some color, I've got some um, seeded diced tomato or some grape or cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half. I love a little bit of onion. This is just thinly sliced red onion. And I'm gonna give this a gentle toss, just so it coats the cucumbers and the tomatoes and the onions. Now, one of the last things I'm gonna add is some fresh mint. And a lot of people grow fresh mint and you don't know what in the world to do with all that mint besides put it in iced tea. Try putting it in some of your salads. It really is gonna give them some great flavor and take it to the nice next level and it adds lovely flavor to this salad. You could also do fresh dill if you didn't wanna do mint. And last but not least, some crumbled feta cheese, just a little bit over the top will really take this salad to the next level. This goes great with whatever you're grilling from chicken to burgers to brats. Um, and it's just something light and refreshing and something a little bit different. So enjoy, and as I always say, cook up some memories, and I'll see you next time. And of course, you can find more of Amy's recipes on our website, saliving.com.